that want to get married, I mean, what's your advice to them about the financial aspects? Under the law, if you don't enter into a prenup, which we have, the property relations between husband and wife will be governed by what is called the Absolute Community of Property. ACP. Ibig sabihin nun, what's yours is mine, like, oh. what's mine is yours. Common lahat yun, pagsasamahin nyo. Unless you enter into a property, a prenup agreement, and then you get to define your relationship. In our case, um, prenup, which is a complete separation of property, meaning what's hers is hers, what's mine is mine. Okay, so I have a question. For those of you who don't understand how a prenup really works, um, kasi some are afraid, kasi what if, knock, 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 um, may masamang mangyari sa partner mo, hindi daw mapupunta sa kanila, hindi na mapupunta sa family or... In a prenup, it governs the property relations of husband and wife while they're still alive. If um, a spouse passes away, now the rules on inheritance will govern, mm -hmm. which says that your spouse will inherit from you. For example, um, if the guy dies, the spouse will automatically have 50%, and then from the guy's 50%, mm -hmm. Doon mag-share mm -hmm. yung asawa niya at yung anak niya o depende kung may anak siya sa labas, etc. Yeah. etc. Et Inheritance is always like a river flowing down. It never goes up. Yeah. So if you have a wife, if you have a husband, if you have kids, your parents will not inherit, your sister will not inherit. It's only when you don't have a spouse or kids or grandchildren that they start going up. What are the pros and cons of having Kung malawak naman ang pag-iisip yung dalawa, pwede naman mag-usapan yun. Kung hindi, baka maging iso pa. Minamaliit yung isa, tinitingnan na maliit yung isa. Yeah. Consequences of a prenup, I don't see any as long as you can agree on it. But yeah, if kasi you will fight hindi naman siya it, parang swapong-swapong kayong dalawa. I mean, you guys help each other pa rin. It's just you don't want to fight na parang kunwari, bakit ko bumili niyan, ganyan-ganyan. If you can still provide for your wife, even if you have a prenup, or you can still help your husband, even if you have a prenup, then it's still the same. Am it I right? is the same. Um, it's just the formality. In your yeah. case, hindi naman ikaw yung may gusto eh. Oo, pero parang <laughs> nag-gets ko siya. <laughs> Ganun? Hindi, nag-gets ko siya kasi nga parang magastos ako. I mean, hindi naman. Kahit naman wala tayong prenup, I'll still say the same things over and over I know that, again. I know that. So, there's no difference really. It's for the peace of mind of the people who ask it. Kasi mawala ka naman, nire-peer mo na ako sa Pino. Oo. Kasi nung kinasal kami, ang dami kong anak. May mga aso ako, siya din, meron din siyang anak. So komplikado. Now if a person passes, he can give away by will half of his property. Kaya ko ba nakokontest yung will? Siyempre, pag malaki yung pinagtatalunan, o minsan, dalawang klase yung will, notarial will, ibig sabihin, may notaryo, sinumpaan mo sa notaryo, at yung isa, holographic will. Will that's entirely written, dated, and signed by the testator, by the person who wrote it. So, may mga kaso sa, sa Korte Suprema, nakalimutan niyang lagyan ng date. Patay! Hindi kina. Sumulat siya sa, date, sa diary, sa date book, na dati nang may date. Doon siya nagsulat ng holographic will niya, hindi pa rin piniyagan. Kasi hindi pa rin siya written. Hindi siya entirely written. Oh, so you have to inside. note that. So kasi yung so yun na yun, parang, Nako, hindi nakita anak, ilalagay ko sa will ko, natatanggalin ka. May batas din doon, hindi mo pwedeng gawin yun ng walang rason. You can only disinherit a compulsory heir, like your son, like your wife, like your daughter. Kung may ginawa siyang masama sa'yo, like pinagtangkaan ang buhay mo. Does kailangan... it have to have proof? Yes. Like paper? Siyempre, or... nagsampa ka ng kaso. Uh -huh. Okay. Or nung nangailangan ka ng tulong, pinalikuran ka niya. Huh? May mga ganong basis this para mag-disinherit. This is so interesting. Hindi siya pwedeng galit ako sa'yo, disinherit kita. Tanggal ka na. Sa mga nagali mo, Tanggal hindi ka pwedeng galit. Okay, so hindi pwede yung wala ka nang maagad kung hindi lang sa nag-awal na kayo. Kaya nga tinawag na compulsory heir. Pero yung kalahati ng ari-ari niya, pwede niyang pamigay. Yung kalahati, mamanahin niyo ng compulsory heirs niya. Yung mga nakalagay sa batas na dapat magmana mula sa kanya. So 50% of what technically I owe, you pwede kong pamigay. To whomsoever. To your dogs, to a uh, shelter. Question, eh, that's just property. Kunwari, those of you na, ano, fashionista, bags, jewelry, is that part of it? Yes. The problem with personal property is someone can easily get it yeah, 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 when yeah. someone is gone. Unless you kind of have a file and give it to your lawyer? Yes, but that... by the time the lawyer arrives at your home, Wala it might not yun. be there anymore. So it depends. That's the difficult That's part so of it. Okay, this is even more interesting. <laughs>